and trying to see what is going on in the cruise world. So I am blessed and grateful to have him tell us all about Royal Caribbean. Mr. Randall, are you available? I can't hear you. You might want to have to switch it. All righty. Can you hear me now, I hope? Yes, sir. Okay. And do you see my picture up my uh, screen? Yes, I do. Okay, perfect. Well, hi, everybody. Welcome. And uh, <clears throat> I'm your strategic account manager for Royal Caribbean. So no matter where you live in the country, I will be your sales manager because I handle the main host account of Archer Travel. So I put my information in the chat box with my email address for you all to contact me if there's anything you ever need. Today, I'm excited because <clears throat> the light is at the end of the tunnel for us. We're starting to uh, commence cruising again in June. We just announced yesterday one of our ships that will be going in June. But I'm going to go over all of our new home ports that we're doing with some of our great new ships. And then I'll talk a little bit more about everything after that. So let's, uh, let's move on to what's new at Royal Caribbean. In that picture, that's our private destination, Coco Cay. And we have a hot air tethered balloon there. As you can see, it takes about 14 people up over our island. It goes up about 450 feet up. And you'll learn more about Coco Cay today as well. <clears throat> So here's the exciting news, everybody. We're back in Los Angeles and you're saying, who's back? Catch a wave on the Amplified Navigator of the Seas. We, will, we just announced we will be moving the beautiful Navigator of the Seas, which we just amplified last year to a tune of about $120 million. It will be coming out to uh, Los Angeles starting uh, next year, 2022, and they'll be here year round doing some three and four night cruises to Ensenada and Catalina. It will also do some five night cruises, Ensenada, Catalina, and Cabo San Lucas. And over the holidays, we're gonna have seven night cruises to Puerto Vallarta, Mazatlan, and Cabo San Lucas. So let me tell you a little bit about the, uh, the Navigator. We have got uh, one of the largest water slides on any ship. As you can see, it goes out over the ocean. And when it's over the ocean, it's all clear tubing. And it's a face that uh, you go down face first on these slides and start all the way at the top. It's called the blaster. And it goes all the way around. These are all complimentary. Uh, so the kids, the adults, everybody, will just enjoy uh, all of these aspects of the ship. We've got a miniature golf course on board called the Navigator Dunes. Ice skating rink. How many cruise ships do you know have an ice skating rink on board? By the way, besides having private time for all the passengers to enjoy the ice skating, we supply the ice skates and the helmets. You just have to show up in long pants and we'll put you on the ice rink. But we also do an incredible show about three times a week on a week long cruise. And this show is, is of the same quality that you'd find at an ice capades. These are former Olympic skaters from all over the world that put on an incredible show for y'all. Navigator has a new bar on board. It's called To Dry For. It's the first of its kind. It's an actual blow dry bar that during the day you could just run in, no appointment needed, run in and get a blow dry for you ladies. Something fun to pamper yourself. We've reimagined the entire Adventure Ocean program. We have won many awards for Adventure Ocean. Adventure Ocean is our children's program that starts at age three and goes up to age 17. And um, we've added much larger spaces now that kids are free to roam in these different areas. We have fully certified staff. In order to be an Adventure Ocean youth staff uh, 
leader, you must have a four-year degree, a bachelor's degree in a child-related activity, and at least two to three years of uh, experience dealing with children in a group atmosphere. Because little Johnny could be an angel by himself, but when little Johnny gets in with a group of kids, he can become a devil. So we want to make sure we have the right people to handle this all. We also take pride in the fact that Royal Caribbean is the one of the only cruise lines uh, that is a level two certification for autism at sea. We have specially trained um, youth staff on here that will uh, take care of, uh, we have special programs for our autistic children uh, that they come on between the ages of nine and 12. We have special activities and a whole special program. And you can get all that information by just calling up our special needs department. Uh, we have a special needs department with over 30 people working that, that answer any questions you have with special needs, hearing impaired, um, accessible staterooms, walking disabilities, uh, food allergies, you name it, our special needs department will be there to help create things for you. The teens have their own area too, it's called the living room. We actually took teens from our ships, brought them to Miami with their parents, and the teens actually sat down and wrote what the whole teen program is going to be like. Who better to know what the teens like but another teen? So we have a, a room there called the living room, which is just a chill area for the teenagers, and nobody under uh, the age of 13 can go into the living room area. It's for 13 to 17 year olds. 18 year olds will not be permitted in this area at all. And it's strictly enforced. We just started a new thing. We, on the navigator, when we redid the ship, we added a hole outside the living room area. It's called the back deck. It's a private deck just for the teenagers. The kids will love it. You'll never see your kids when you bring them on a ship like this. <clears throat> Now for the adults or the kids and all of us, we have a new bar on the promenade deck. It's called the Bamboo Room. This is a tiki uh, bar with specialized drinks that our bartenders are trained to make the most specialized drinks for you in the tiki bar. We also added uh, Playmakers. Playmakers is a sports bar with over 19 different televisions, uh, televising sporting events from all over the world. And they have all kinds of great pub food in there too that you can purchase, like uh, the potato skins and the popcorn shrimp. And Playmakers is attached to an arcade. So while you're in there enjoying your beverages, you can bring your family and they can enjoy the arcade with ski ball and computer games and all kinds of great things that you'd normally find at a, at a carnival or a circus. This is one of my favorite bars. This is called the R bar, R meaning retro. This is a 1960s type of martini bar, very Rat Pack retro type of bar with some live music in there as well. As you can see, you'll never go thirsty or hungry on a Royal Caribbean ship. If any of you have never seen a Royal Caribbean ship, this is a, the Navigator is part of a class of ships called the Voyager class of ships. And they were the first ships ever to have an indoor promenade area. So that is, you're looking at the center of the ship and on either side, these windows, these are cabins, everybody. These are what we call our promenade staterooms. These staterooms are for two people and they have a big window that overlooks the whole center of the ship here. They're all soundproof glass so you don't hear the noise. And there's a window seat right in front of the windows. My brother, when he used to bring my two little nieces 
who are now all grown up and married, but when they were little kids, they used to come on the ship and he called the Promenade Cabins the best daycare center ever because my nieces would sit at the window seat looking out into the promenade for hours at a time, watching all the people and never fighting with each other. So he was in love with those cabins. But taking a look at this promenade, there's, you'll find all kinds of shops and cafes. Right here is a, a beautiful cafe. This is um, the Sorrento's uh, Cafe Promenade. And it also serves pizzeria. There's a pizzeria there. You've got an English pub. You've got um, the blow bar for your hair dry. You've got a Zumi, an Asian restaurant and many other things there with super uh, wonderful uh, gift shops on board there. And just, we do parades during the nighttime in this uh, area of the promenade. This is the main pulse of the uh, ship. And three decks of those promenades. Can't hear you, Randall. Can't hear you. Okay, here we go. Can you hear me now? Yes. Okay, great. Anyway, um, this is our beautiful new pool area. Uh, we just reamplified the whole pool deck. We want you to feel the minute you get on the ship, you're in the tropical wonderland. As you can see, there's little cabanas you can sit under. Look at our pool area. There's three pools with the uh, jacuzzis there, lots of umbrellas. We have chairs that are in the water there as well. And um, just a fabulous area. And at the end of this uh, pool area is what we call our lime and coconut bar. That is our three-story bar. It's a bar that's three decks high and it's our lime and coconut tropical bar. We've also added some wonderful restaurants. We've got Jamie's Italian restaurant on board. Uh, that's Jamie Oliver, our, uh, our chef. Uh, we've got Hook Seafood. This is a great little seafood restaurant. It's open for lunch and dinner. You can order um, for a small uh, service charge. You can order lobster. You can have lobster rolls, all kinds of great shrimp. It's a wonderful specialty restaurant. And of course, our ships all have a Starbucks. And just as I told you, the ship will start here next June and um, it will go on sale, everybody, this March, March 29th. The ship, we will announce it on sale and there may be even a few other surprises as to the start date. So stay tuned to it and grab your space as soon as it comes open. Another new home port for us is the gorgeous island of Barbados. And the grandeur of the seas will be sailing there starting in December of 2021. So it's already for sale and we've been selling it like crazy. Probably 30% of the entire winter season is already sold out. So go and grab your space there. What's new about Barbados is you'll be sailing to and you'll be sailing in and out of Barbados and it'll be doing seven day cruises. And because you're starting so far south in the Caribbean, you're alleviating any of the rough seas, you're eliminating sea days, and you're gonna get to go to beautiful six islands in seven days. Take a look at these itineraries. We're holding three different itineraries there. The first one, which is my favorite called the Southern Caribbean Island Hop. In seven days, everybody, you're gonna start in Barbados. You're gonna to go to Tobago, Trinidad, Grenada, one of the best islands in all the Caribbean, St. Vincent, Rousseau, Dominica, and Castri, St. Lucia. That's every day, another island. This is wonderful for your first time cruisers. First time cruisers wanna get as much in as they can in a week cruise. This is for them. 
And for, for your clients who are afraid of maybe getting seasick, this is for them because every day they're in another tropical paradise from morning until night. And they're only sailing at night for just a few hours because the islands are all so close to each other. We lost you again. Still can't hear you yet. I'm so sorry about this uh, system of mine. You're good now, thank you. Okay, we're going Barbados to Grenada, Bonaire, Aruba, Curaçao, and Trinidad. So you do have a couple sea days in there and it's a beautiful seven day cruise that takes you down. We call them the ABC Islands, Aruba, Bonaire, and Curaçao. They are part of the Dutch West Indies. They're owned by uh, Holland. They're owned by the Netherlands and uh, they just got their independence, but it's very Dutch. When you go to Grenada, it's very British. So you see a lot of different cultures all within a seven day cruise. The next one is a 14 day ultimate Caribbean. If you have somebody that's got a little time, this is the best itinerary that you will ever see. It hits Central America, South America, and the Caribbean all in 14 days. Again, you'll start at Barbados. The ship leaves every Sunday at 10 p.m. You'll go from Barbados to uh, St. Vincent, Grenada, Curaçao, Aruba. Then you'll go to Puerto Limon, Costa Rica. You'll stop in Cologne, Panama to go through the Panama Canal. You get to, uh, you can take an excursion and go through the locks of the canal. Then you go on to South America, go into the beautiful port of Cartagena, Colombia. It's where you buy all your emeralds, ladies. And then back to Bonaire and then Trinidad. 14 days, you got a fabulous itinerary. These are very unique destinations. Tobago is a port that not many cruise ships go to. We will be the only cruise ship there when we're in dock there. Uh, St. Vincent, there is a beautiful volcanic island that uh, again, these are new ports that a lot of people don't go to. Trinidad is a beautiful island. And if any of you know the carnival that we see in Rio, the carnival in New Orleans during Mardi Gras, guess what? Trinidad is where the carnival began many years ago and the steel drum music guess where it began in trinidad trinidad used to be an oil refinery island with a lot of oil refineries so people took the old oil drums and converted them into steel drums for music so you'll hear some of the best music and the be the best steel drum bands and then grenada is considered one of the most picturesque ports in the caribbean and it's the spice island you could be driving and literally stop and just pick nutmeg right off of the trees and cinnamon. And it's a, you just smell it in the air there. There's beautiful straw markets and great little tours that you could do. I'm just giving you a little sample. In Barbados, St. Vincent, uh, you could do a, a pirate sail away. You can always do the nature hike and then the best of St. Vincent, which is all done by bus. So whatever your level is that you wanna um, exert, you could do it. This is the picturesque port of Grenada, as I told you. I, I, when I worked on the ships, I used to be here every Wednesday for an entire summer and I just love it. I could just stare at this place. There's waterfalls, there's great beaches and um, the spice markets and the beach tours. <clears throat> Tobago's got a nylon pool, meaning it's a pool that they made in the ocean that's all uh, divided out by beautiful nylon cording. So you can just enjoy your own pool in the middle of the ocean. And then, um, 
You can't uh, go to the Caribbean without going to a rum distillery. So you'll find rum distilleries on many of the islands. Um, Trinidad has a very big one. And of course, Barbados has Mount Gay rum as well. And there's great waterfalls and hiking there. Now you're saying, how are we going to get there? Well, Royal Caribbean went out and negotiated rates with all the major airlines. These are all the nonstop cities, but we have negotiated rates from every city around the US that will feed in to one of these nonstop cities and then right down into Barbados. And we have rates that if you were to call up the airlines, uh, those rates would be much higher than the Royal Caribbean rates that we have for you. So, and we even do on the day of the sailing, we even have a charter from Miami to get down there because the ship doesn't leave till 10 p.m. So if you arrive early on the day of the sailing, you'll be able to check onto the ship around noonish and you can even do a tour of Barbados all day. But for those who want, how do you not go earlier to Barbados or stay a little later? Barbados is a gorgeous island and we've got uh, beautiful hotels the bottom three hotels, we have negotiated rates for a pre one night or a post one night. And those are the closest hotels to the pier where the ship is. Our top hotels on the top line, you could stay. We have uh, packages for up to seven days at these properties. And some of them are all inclusive resorts as well. The ship itself is the grandeur of the seas. It's a beautiful looking ship and that's a picture of it right there. That's what the interior of this ship looks like. There's a centrum. So you don't have the Royal Promenade, but you have a centrum with glass elevators that go up and down eight decks. At the bottom of the centrum is a bar with live music and live entertainment. You've got the solarium which is an adults only swimming pool area that's glass domed. So no matter what the weather's like, you'll have a great day at the pool. On warm days, we'll open up the glass uh, dome and it spreads open, but this is 16 and over in this area. Beautiful pool area and away from all the other people, very quiet area. A lot of different restaurants on here. We've got Giovanni's Table, an Italian restaurant, Chops Grill, of course, room service, Azumi, the Asian Fusion Bar, and the Chef's Table. Um, if you have clients that are doing anniversaries or weddings, something special, suggest to them to purchase the uh, Chef's Table. It's only for 14 people, and you dine with the chef and the main wine uh, sommelier and it's every course has a different wine and they lecture you about the wine and the food it's really quite entertainment you can get flyers for all of this i'm going to leave that up for a minute for everybody to write that down loyal to you always.com i want you to embrace this website you do not need a password to get onto this website but this website has all of our offers and we, are every, we have already made up flyers for you. All you do is type in your name of your agency and your phone number and boom, you've got a gorgeous flyer ready to go out. We even have an area with uh, social media posting that you can take and put right onto your Facebook pages and all about your deployment, all about the latest news, just have fun. Go on there and look at this uh, website, loyaltoyouallways.com. Now, everybody, we just announced yesterday, so the timing couldn't be better. We're starting up cruising again, everybody, starting this June, just a few months from now. We have a ship called the Adventure of the Seas. And that is a sister to the Navigator and it's going to be based in Nassau, Bahamas. And again, we've negotiated incredible airfare to get to Nassau, Bahamas. There's over 24 flights a day from uh, all over the country to get you to Nassau. That's a picture of our private destination called Coco Cay that I'm going to be telling you about in a minute. 
And uh, that's our adventure of the seas right there. The season for Nassau will be June 12th to August 28th. The adventure has some great water slides as well. It's got surfing and uh, the navigator has that too. Flow rider surfing on board the ship and great activities. There's an ice skating rink on this ship as well. And we've got great kids and family activities. The kids even have their own water park on board. And there's the adventure ocean for the little ones. The water slides are called the perfect storm and our flow rider simulated surfing. And these are all complimentary, everybody. We've got Johnny Rockets on here. So you want to, if you're craving a nice hamburger and a, a milkshake, we have a, jo a Johnny Rockets diner. It looks just like a diner you'd find on land. We've got Chop Steakhouse. Giovanni's table and a zooming, and of course, Ben and Jerry's ice cream. We have one of the largest casinos afloat on both the Navigator and the Adventure of the Seas. We have major production shows, live music. We have giant movie screens out by the pool. So we always do movies under the stars. And as you can see that ice skating, uh, picture. Those are some of our talented ice skaters that put on full shows for you. And these are all complimentary. Think about the value you're getting on a cruise. What would you pay to go to the ice capage? You'd pay $100 a ticket or to see a giant, beautiful production show. All of this is included in the price. And here's the itinerary. You're going to uh, start in Nassau. You will have uh, two days docked at Coco Cay. And we're gonna go into details on Coco Cay. It is the uh, number one rated port globally of every port in on out of 200 and some ports of Royal Caribbean. It's the one that passengers rate the highest. After Coco Cay, we'll, we'll go cruising. We'll then go to Cozumel, Mexico. Then we'll have a day at sea. And then we'll arrive in Freeport, Grand Bahama Island, and then uh, back to Nassau. So it's a beautiful seven night cruise. And these are some of the great things. Again, we will have special packages for pre and post at uh, Nassau. You could go over to the beautiful Atlantis or uh, just walk around and see beautiful Nassau. I've been there a million times and I still find different things to do each time I go. Cozumel. Randall, sorry, we lost you again. Cozumel has one of the best uh, diving in the Caribbean. It has palancar reef, there's snorkeling, there's a Mayan experience. You can even see some Mayan ruins on the island and all kinds of great adventures, plus gorgeous beaches. And uh, from Cozumel, we go on to beautiful Grand Bahama Island. Again, there's uh, swimming with the dolphins. You could go snorkeling, some really great beach day getaways. And uh, we even have a great for families, some family beach days there. So it's got a little bit of everything. Ah, now we get to Coco Cay. For all of you who don't know that, uh, this is our private destination. Royal Caribbean owns this island and it is uh, strictly for our guests only. Nobody else comes to the island. That's why we're going to be introducing it a lot because it's going to be very safe for everybody because it's someone in our bubble because we control everybody there. Uh, the people, there's people that work on the island. They live on that island. And then um, we bring um, some of the local Bahamians to run the straw market. But if they come over, they have to come into quarantine for two weeks and then they'll live on the island for three months 
at a time, and then we'll go back and we'll change them over. So everybody is very safe here. This island, we just did $200 million to redo this island into, uh, I call it the thrill and the chill. There's two parts of the island. Here's a better idea of it. There's the thrill water park area, and then the chill, which is me, sitting on a hammock or laying on the beach or hanging at the swim up bar in Oasis Lagoon. At the top part, we'll talk about our Cocoa Beach Club. Uh, that's a picture of the Oasis Lagoon. Now, the, the Oasis Lagoon is all complimentary. All those beautiful beach chairs and umbrellas, they're free of charge. And there's plenty of, nobody will be without one on this island. We have plenty of beaches and plenty of chairs. The whole lagoon area is padded underwater. You feel like you're walking on a yoga mat. There's a live DJ at the Oasis Lagoon in one section. It's the largest lagoon in uh, freshwater lagoon in the Caribbean. In one area of the lagoon, there's a swim up bar with a live DJ, but there's also quiet areas. And as you can see, we've built a beach around that whole area going into the pool. You can also rent cabanas on our beaches. Here's a better picture of the swim up bar. How many people want to be there right now? Huh. We also have developed something called the Cocoa Beach Club. We're going to be developing these beach clubs around the world. And Jennifer will get to you right after. We'll answer a lot of questions afterwards. Um, but this is a beach club. You can buy a day pass when you're at the island to go into this beach club where you have your own private uh, clubhouse, an infinity pool, an upgraded restaurant, and all these beautiful private beach and chairs. If you purchase one of our over the water floating cabanas, as you can see here, those cabanas for up to eight people. So you buy a flat fee for the cabana and you divide it amongst your eight people. So it becomes very reasonable. Those cabanas automatically are part of the Cocoa Beach Club. But each cabana has their own concierge that will handle your drinks and food orders for you. And you don't even have to get off of there. Each cabana also has their own slide right from the cabana into the ocean. I'm gonna show you a quick little video. This is the Cocoa Beach Club. We're building another one of these beach clubs in the island of Antigua. And then we'll be building several of them all over the world. Anyway, here's what your floating cabana looks like. You not only do you have a little living room, you have a fresh water shower. You've got a little wet bar there. You've got a little hammock that's right over the water, your slides, a dining table, and there's your personal waiter that will come to and from there for you. And then your chaise lounges truly is a nice day to spend and you divide the cost among eight people and it becomes reasonable. The prices vary on the cabanas depending on the ship, sailing date and demand. So it could range many prices, but it's always on sale with through, through our cruise planner where we offer sales throughout the year, 30% off sometimes. This is what the living room area looks like. Every living room's got that, that lock box there. It's a little coffee table, but it has a combination lock for you to store everything in. A nice couch if the little ones want to take a little nap or even the big ones that are tired of the sun. <laughs> and now if you don't want the over the water ones, you can also rent a beach cabana. And these beach cabanas are a little less money than the over the water ones. And they also include admission into the Cocoa Beach Club. And that's what they look like, these beach cabanas. They're very pretty. 
This is the clubhouse part of the beach club that's got the uh, chases in the water there, an infinity pool, and a gorgeous restaurant with upgraded food such as lobster, uh, you know, shrimp, baked potatoes, all kinds of wonderful food there. Now, if you don't want to be in the beach club, there are all of these other cabanas that you can rent. The Thrill Water Park cabanas, if you rent one of them, you get six entrances to the water park for six people because there is a fee to go into the water park. But again, you could go to this island and not spend one penny. You could just enjoy the beach and the chases at the different cabana area or the different cabanas you can rent out there. These are our new cabanas. They're built on a new, uh, we have a new beach, N-E-W, not N-U-D-E, everybody, new. This is a new beach called South Beach. And uh, we've built um, beautiful cabanas there. It's, uh, we found that a lot of people were crowding into one beach because nobody wanted to walk anywhere to get to it. So what we did was we have, um, created a tram system. We have electric trams that run every 10 minutes all over the island. They will meet you right by the ship where it docks and it'll take you to wherever you want. So you don't have to be worried. And those with uh, um, are physically challenged for walking, no sweat. We have them, we can take you wherever you want. We even have uh, wheelchairs made for the beach and even pathways that your electric scooter can go to. And these are some of the beaches we've got there on the island. We also have a floating bar on South Beach. Those were the cabanas I just showed you earlier. Well, you could wade out to this little bar. It's a little floating bar. You know, I always said that if Gilligan's Island, if they could build those huts, they should have built a floating bar and they could have all floated off the island. But then we wouldn't have a great TV show, right? I'm probably dating myself for you young ones on here that don't know who that show is. Uh, here's the early bird. We even have a special for early birds. It's rise and uh, it's like a rise and shine, but it's rise and slide, we call it. Gets you into the water park earlier than everybody. That's the tallest water slide in North America right here. And here's a picture of the water park. 19 different water slides. We've got zip lining, the hot air tethered balloon. We even have an activity pool where you could do uh, obstacle courses and even play water basketball and volleyball. A wave pool with waves every 10 minutes. Look at some of these water slides, the slingshot, the speedway, the daredevil's peak. That's the one that's the tallest water slide in all of North America. Imagine on this sailing, you'll be able to spend two full days on the island. So you'll be able to really purchase um, and uh, one day, maybe you want to thrill. And the other day, you're just like, hey, I did that. Now let me just chill on a beach and enjoy our wonderful restaurants. The kids have their own water park, which is free of charge. It's called Splash Away Bay. This is all complimentary for the little ones with all kinds of uh, the Captain Jill's galleons got all these water toys for them. There's an area for the parents to sit with their chase lounges. And it's nice because you won't hear the little kids running around the other parts of the island. They all love, love, love staying right here at Splash Away Bay. It's an overview of what the island looks like, the Splash Away Bay looks like. And right next to Splash Away Bay is a, a great grill. We have two grills called the Skipper's Grill and the Chill Grill. And these are all complimentary. There are bars and restaurants there. Uh, and they have, it's not your typical um, private island food of just a hamburger and a hot dog. You could get, there's a taco bar, there's a cop salads, Cuban sandwiches, all kinds of great salads and food there. And then there's another, uh, restaurant there that has a small fee if you choose to go there and that's called Captain Jack's. That's a bar restaurant with again you could buy uh, 
upgraded menu stuff there with your popcorn shrimp and your potato skins and things like that. So perfect day is twice the thrill. This is how we created this island. I wanted to show you something we're doing to all of our ships now. Um, we have a brand new uh, air system that we put into our ships. And um, we've upgraded all of our air filters. And this is a new uh, rating for our air on the ships. So this is very safe for your clients uh, that ever want to uh, know about this and you can find this on loyal to you always.com all the information about this it's a continuous air outside air is continuously pulled in to all the existing areas indoors and it's uh sent right out also it's 15 to 20 times an hour is how many air changes occur in the public spaces that's huge amount as you can see we take pride of royal caribbean We've been voted by the readers of Travel Weekly, best cruise line in the Caribbean 18 years in a row. Best cruise line overall, 18 years in a row. Uh, best entertainment, and of course, the best private island. Um, that is Royal Caribbean, everybody. And I mean, we have 26 ships. So as we start announcing them, I, I can come back on here as often as you'd like and train you on some of the newer ships and everything. But realize when you go with Royal Caribbean, you're gonna get a great, um, a great, great vacation. We're, a, we're considered the number one multi-generational cruise line. It's great for families of all ages. You may wanna think right now is a great time to go out there. All these families have been separated during COVID and all of that. As people start getting their vaccines and everyone's starting to come together, why not start hitting up your people saying, hey, it's time for a family reunion. Get to, this is the best way to do it. So um, do think about that. And definitely for you on the West Coast people, we'd love to have you come out here and do the Navigator. All these ships go on sale. That This Adventure of the Seas out of Nassau goes on sale on March 24th. And the other one starts on March 29th. On another training, I want to on our Oasis class ships. Those are the ships that have the outdoor uh, major theater on there and the apartment loft suites. They're just incredible, but I couldn't do it justice mixing all of this and that together. So if you have me invited back, I would love, love, love to uh, come and teach all about Oasis class. At this point, I'll turn it over. And again, I apologize about the sound system, but um, trust me, I'm gonna be getting that check when we hang up.
<laughs> well, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for the wealth of information. And I don't know about everyone else, but I am ready to get on a ship to visit one of the islands or Coco Bay, that's for sure. Um, if anyone have any questions, please, 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 this is the time to ask. Make sure you type them in the chat box and I'll read them off and Randall will answer them for you. And right. we've got a special during March right now, buy one and the second person is 60% off. Ooh. Well, that's good to know. That's definitely good to know. <laughs> I did see one question that popped up early, so I want to make sure I see that. Um, do that one first. Um, Kathy asks, she see that one of the ship goes to the New England area. Does the is a Grandier leave from New York for three to four days to New England, Canada areas? No, we will have um, we do Canada New England cruises out of Boston, New Jersey, and Baltimore. like you're underwater no pun intended no not all right how about now I can hear you now. Great. Okay. We we have uh, three ships due in New Jersey out of to Canada, New England, out of Boston, seven day cruises, out of New Jersey, five night and nine night, and out of Baltimore, eight and nine night cruises to Canada, New England. But for this fall in 2021, it does not look like we'll be doing any cruising to Canada because the Canadian government has put a, a rule down that they don't want any cruise ships in Canada until February of 2022. So unless they change their mind, we won't be going to Canada until next uh, summer. We'll be doing them next summer and fall out of those three cities. Another question, um, someone asked, is it always cheaper to get the, air, the airfare through the cruise line? She's planning a trip. And that's one of the questions that she's being asked. Well, it depends. Sometimes it is, especially with these new ports that are outside the US, um, we have specially negotiated rates. But I always say, check with our cruise line for the air and then check on your own for local air uh, because you have some of these discount carriers like to get to Fort Lauderdale or Miami, maybe Southwest or JetBlue. But when you're dealing with like Nassau and Barbados, um, we have negotiated special rates because we need to get the people there and we didn't want that to be a deterrent. Uh, so we have really low rates for air for those places. We're subsidizing it basically. Okay. Thank you. If anyone has any more question, yeah. Not to Venice, Italy. Uh, we we do have um, Felicia. We do have some contracted air rates again, but you might as well check with the airlines because the way Europe is right now, the airlines themselves could be hurting for business, and they may be cheaper than our contracted rates. Normally, our contract rates are cheap, but when when it's supply and demand, you may be able to find some cheaper rates over to Venice. Thank you so much for that. Does anyone else have any more questions? This is the time to ask, especially when we have Mr. Randall on the line. Right? We'll have to, everybody, we all have to start saying that we want to do a, a conference on the Navigator next year out of LA. Let's do it. <laughs> Well, I don't see any more questions. So well, you all have my email address again. It's Randy R. Support 
at rccl.com. Feel free to contact me at any time. I do love doing virtual cruise shows. So if you've got clients, I can put together a virtual cruise show. I'll arrange the link, send out the invitation to you, which you can then invite your clients and then I can host a whole cruise show for them. So feel free. I'm here to help you guys grow your business. That is amazing. Well, while we are waiting to see if anyone have any questions, I want to personally say thank you from all of us for doing this um, for us. I have learned a lot of information. I'm pretty sure everyone else have as well. It was great to see the, sh uh, the ships. Um, it was great to see where you guys uh, stop it and where the ports are. So once again, thank you from the elite group very, very much. And I did see that you put your information in the chat box. Yes. And um, everybody, we just came out with a digital brochure, a brand new brochure. It's digital. We will go to print eventually, but because of all the changes that are happening, it's easier to do it digitally. And you could go to loyaltoyouallways.com and um, just download the digital brochure. And then you could send that out or even a little part of it to your clients. There's videos in there and deck plans. Everything you need is right there. Well, we um, we would definitely be inviting you back soon, uh, Tammy, or someone from the leadership team will be reaching out to you. Great. So you can highlight the new ship. Um, Jennifer, he posted his email in the chat. Just scroll up a little bit more. Oh, you put it in the waiting room. Okay. Let's see if I can. Oh, sorry. No worries. Let's see if I can. Type it in for everybody. I just sent it. You did? Okay. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. And thank you guys for joining us. Since there are no more questions, I want to say good evening to everyone. And remember, we pray, we grind, we repeat. Why? Because we are elite. Good night, guys. Have a great, great evening. Happy Saturday and happy first day of spring.